That was wild, uh, <laughs> to say the least. I'm really proud of those kids. They beat a very good football team in Cal, um, a team that knows how to win. They obviously came back, and we found a way to make one more play than they did at the end. But uh, we talked all week long about how we had to make it be a team effort, and, and I think it ended up being on offense, defense, special teams all contributed. But I'm, all the things I can say right now, I can't really say. I mean, it's just it's awesome for these kids. I'm proud of them. They deserve it. They worked their tails off to get here. And, it's a good moment. So now we got to we got to understand that's what you're supposed to do. You just win football games. And but these kids have, uh, as you know, if you uh, cover this team closely, these kids have been through a lot. And they battled and they fought. And I say it every day. There's no give up in them. There's no quit in them. They keep battling. Um, uh, so it's uh, it's a great day to be a Beaver. Um, our fans deserve that. Uh, they, they deserve that victory. I appreciate everybody that was there. It's awesome to be able to celebrate that victory with those kids in that stadium and resurf with our fans there. So special, special moment for me, one I'll never forget. Coach, you mentioned, you know, last year that you thought there needed to be like a program defining win to you know to kind of springboard teams. Do you think this could be one of those victories? Uh, you know what? I, I, it's a win in the Pac-12. Obviously, it hasn't happened for a long time. Um, so it should give them some understanding of what it takes to win in the Pac-12. Um, I don't know if it's a program-defining moment. I would necessarily wouldn't say that. I, I would expect those moments to be down the road, and I expect them to be in, in even a bigger situation than just winning a Pac-12 football game. Our, it's never going to be our goal to win a Pac-12 football game. So it's a great win. I'm not discounting that, but uh, we still got lots of work to do. Did you want to win in that fashion where you squandered a pretty big lead and then all the momentum seemed to be counted and overtime defense is stopping to win it like that. I think it absolutely does. No question. And um, you know there's a lot of teams in this league win a lot of games and there's games that go back and forth and it's gonna go down to the wire a lot of this a lot of times. And um, for us to be in that spot it, it, it you know first day when we come back from fall camp one of the first things I share with the kids is you know a winner gets into the moment and the situation and says, okay, here we go, we got this. And a loser sits there and looks at himself and says, well, what was me, here we go again. Um, and that wasn't the case. You know, the kids fought, even when they went into overtime. Yes, we gave up a lead. Yes, we did a lot of things on offense and defense we'd like to have back at that point, but we made the play we needed to, to make to win the game. And the defense studded up, made them kick a field goal. Um, so can you grow from that? Boy, you better. You absolutely should grow from that one. Webb comes in with you know, leading the nation in passing. He gets 113 yards tonight. How did you do it? Talk about the defense. Well, first of all, I thought the defense played outstanding. Obviously, we got, we got, a, little, we got a little worn down. Um, you know, they, they started to run the ball on us and were effective. They made some very good calls in critical situations. And uh, we made some very good calls in critical situations. It went back and forth as far as the pass defense was. You know, they weren't able to get the, the deep ball connected. I thought that was huge. Um, it's kind of been an Achilles heel for us throughout the year. And those kids studded up, but we got more pressure on the quarterback. There's no doubt he was at times pressured, not so many sacks and all the things that come with it, but the idea that we were getting pressure on the quarterback and they knew that we were getting closer. And that's something we've talked so long and hard about to give those kids in the back end a chance. Um, you know, and on the flip side of that, I think what really slowed down the quarterback was you know, Daryl Garrison did an unbelievable job on the clock. I mean, I don't know how many times he snapped it and there was five seconds left on it, but uh, that was the game plan. The offense executed that very well.